Today, January 30th, 2022, marks 53 years since the Beatles gave their final public performance on the rooftop of the Savile Row office building housing Apple Corps headquarters. Well, Beatles fans, the celebration of the Get Back, Let It Be project continues. Just a few days ago, the complete audio for the band's legendary rooftop performance, mixed in stereo and Dolby Atmos by Giles Martin and Sam O'Kell, debuted globally on streaming services. We've been clamoring for it, and now we've got it. Hopefully soon to be a physical release as well. I've listened to this complete rooftop performance now a couple of times, and it sounds great. Kevin Howlett has a special presentation on Sirius XM. And what do we have here? Beatles fan extraordinaire and YouTube's own Caitlin Larkin is now a Beatles channel host? Way to go, Caitlin. Now back to Get Back. Peter Jackson's Get Back docuseries is being released on Blu-ray soon, and tributes are everywhere. And on this 53rd anniversary of the Rooftop Concert, I'll be joining countless other fans viewing a special screening event exclusively at IMAX Theatres in IMAX. I'm really looking forward to attending this theatrical event. Not only will seeing the Rooftop Concert in IMAX be amazing, but I expect the sound to be incredible. Back in November of 2021, a loved one noticed me eyeing up this edition of Mojo Music on a magazine rack of a Barnes & Noble bookstore. I didn't buy it that day, as I was gift shopping for others, but lo and behold, I received it as a Christmas gift a month later, along with a plethora of other Beatles-related goodies. In honor of this historic Beatles anniversary, and keeping the spotlight on the Get Back project, I'd like to offer a brief overview of this item. Let's take a look. The magazine is sealed in a plastic bag, which contains some extra goodies. As you can see, this edition of Mojo is labeled as November 2021 and retailed for $13.99 here in the United States. Various labels pertaining to the contents are printed on the front of the packaging. Let's take a closer look. Here's a view of the back of the packaging, again giving an overview of what's included in this edition of Mojo. I'm happy to say that this is a resealable bag, so I'll be able to store the magazine and extras as they came. Okay, so first up is this art print. This is actually printed on proper photo paper. Very nice. The back advertises the Beatles Get Back book, released last fall. Here's a description identifying the image as one from Apple Studios on January 24th, 1969, and it's credited to Ethan Russell. Next up is this CD. Mojo presents Fab Gear. Taking a moment to discuss this CD, it's got some decent covers and some clunkers. The highlight is the lead track, a cover of the Revolver tune, She Said, She Said, done by the Black Keys. It's a stellar performance. My pick for worst cover would have to be the Melvins doing I Want to Hold Your Hand. The arrangement and performance just doesn't work in any way. Terrible. Another criticism I have is that I would have preferred if this 57-minute CD contained more cover versions of songs related to the Let It Be album and the Get Back project. As it stands, it only includes covers of Don't Let Me Down and Let It Be. That's disappointing given the magazine coverage of the Beatles is related exclusively to Get Back. Still, it's a nice extra addition and a decent listen overall. Now let's look at the magazine itself. Here's a look at the spine. Mojo 336, November 2021. And the official Mojo website. With the exception of this page 5 advertisement for the new special editions of Let It Be, the first 67 pages of the magazine are dedicated to non-Beatles related content, including a write-up on Charlie Watts and features on Tori Amos 
The Meters, Patti Smith, and Genesis, to name a few. Finally, the cover story on the Beatles begins mid-mag on page 68. But how can this photo of a swanky-looking Peter Jackson not be worth flipping through all those previous pages? A mere 13 pages are dedicated to the Beatles, including some nice photos and new interviews with Paul McCartney, Peter Jackson, Michael Lindsay Hogg, Glenn Johns, and Giles Martin. While informative, with so many great sources of information on this period of Beatles history, there's nothing exclusive here. It's a good read nonetheless, but hardly a must-have. Pages 81 through 122 are again dedicated to non-Beatles content. But look who shows up on page 94. What's his name? That about does it for this item. I expected more Beatles content that was included, but between the dedicated magazine cover, the feature, the included art print, and the CD, it's a nice addition to my Get Back, Let It Be collection. I did enjoy flipping through the mag, reading the Beatles feature, and listening to the CD, so I am happy to have received this item as a gift. I hope you enjoyed this video. These past few months have been an incredible time for Beatles fans. I'm really glad to share these videos with you. Thanks so much for watching. Happy anniversary rooftop concert.